Okay, here we are debugging Optronics board number one. I call this board number one because this is the first one that I built. Uh, from that's not from a kit. I just had the board. So, and I know that there are, are at least twelve or ten, ten more of these boards out there. Um, and I have one of them. So all the components and everything you see here, I had to go and get myself everything, including the ROM. I had to go find somebody to program the ROM. Anyway, uh, let's see. Uh, there are a couple bugs on this board, and both of the bugs were found by Mike Willigal. His website is willigal.net. He's been really huge help in helping me get this thing running. So let's see. I want to tell you about two bugs. The first bug is uh, that pin 12 on the 74154 right there is not connected, and that should be grounded. Pin 12 is ground. It's not connected to anything. And I verified this with an ohmmeter. After Mike asked me to check it, I did. And that's what I got. So there, there was uh, no resistance whatsoever. I mean, I guess that's a ton of resistance, right? Open circuit. So pin 12 is not connected to anything. Uh, you can see that what I did here was I removed the, uh, I removed the, the dip socket right here. This is the old one. Uh, this is all the solder that was pulled out with the solder sucker. And <clears throat> I did this because uh, I wanted to verify that I didn't have a solder bridge on this side of the board underneath the dip socket. Because now I know that I used a little, I was a bit heavy handed on this board, the solder. I used uh, 0.032, which is way too thick. Um, so, but now I know. Um, I'm using 0.021 now, and it seems to be working out great. Uh, I, it, by the way, it is the flux core. Um, I believe it was the 64 or 63.37. So, okay, so that's the first bug, and I'm going to get this put back together and try to see if I can get it to work. Uh, last week I did try to uh, put a jumper from from pin 12 to, to uh, ground, but I still had a uh, a little bit of a pulse. I, I don't think it's going to be. Um, I don't think it's. It was as bad as what I'm seeing now without any, any jumper. But so anyway, that leads me to believe there's still you know something else wrong with the board. All right. So the second bug was uh, also found by Mike, and <clears throat> that bug was at on chip D7. So I'm going to go over here. D. You can see that A B C D. So D, and then down here you've got columns. So D. 7. If you go <coughs> row D, column 7, we land on this chip here, and that's the uh, 74161, which I believe is one of the counter chips um, used for video. Now, uh, the bug with this chip is that uh, pins 7 and 10 are not connected, and they need to be connected. So, if I show you the back of the board, you can see that what I did was I I, uh, I soldered a, a jumper. You see that little blue jumper wire there from 7 to 10. So Now, what, what happened without that jumper was when I, uh, I uh, booted the system uh, and hit reset, I got a, a row of all P characters across the screen. Um, after I put the jumper on, uh, I only got a single P. So... That was the the difference there. Now, you know, what's supposed to happen is when you hit reset, you're supposed to be dropped into the monitor and you should get a backslash and then an, an ampersand symbol. Of course, I haven't gotten that far. So we're still debugging, and uh, next thing that we find out, I will uh, make another video. Okay, that's it, guys. Bye.